Simón? Simón, hijo. I am Guillermo del Toro, and you are at EW.com, and this is Take 5, my five favorite ghost film. We start with number one, The Uninvited. I'm not afraid of anything here. It's an old movie with uh, Raimi Land. The reason why I love it is because the central figure of the ghost turns out to not be a malignant presence. We learn something that I find uh, really attractive in these movies, which is the living are scarier than the dead. The second one is actually two movies that uh, are called Kuroneko and Onibaba. I saw them when I was a kid. They mix some erotic elements, so that was pretty important when I was a kid. What is great about the movie is that it combines the life impulses with the death impulses, and it creates a unique Eastern take on both ghosts uh, and the supernatural that I think would be really interesting for you to see. The third one is The Hunting. It has actually a famous moment, a moment where somebody thinks somebody else is holding her hand. Oh, my hand, Leo. And it turns out that it's not that way. Whose hand was I holding? The Orphanage has an homage, rip of quote, whatever you want to call it, to that moment. Robert Wise was an editor, and he m makes exemplary use of sound and camera work and uh, the palette of darkness in the black and white film to really evoke not only the presence of something supernatural, but actually the malevolent intelligence of the house itself. The house is coming down around me. The fourth one is a movie called The Innocence by English director Jack Clayton. He was incredibly methodical about the way he approached the supernatural things. He creates such an equation in the movie for it to be able to be read both ways. You can see the movie and accept the supernatural, or you can take the idea of all this being in the protagonist's head and seeing this as a psychological drama. The last film is Peter Maddox's The Changeling. What do you want from me? The beauty of the film, and something that it shares with the orphanage, is that it links a personal loss, a tragic loss of a life, with the moment that a character starts to be able to perceive the supernatural. This movie is like The Hunting, like The Innocents, like The Orphanage, like Kuroneko, The Uninvited. Movies that depend solely on your desire to believe or your fear of believing in ghosts. This movie should be seen alone and in the dark. And possibly naked.